Alright, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get the controller to work on IW4X without using XPatter. So the first step is by going to your Steam library. And then from here, you go click add a game, add a non-Steam game. You find where your IW4X is. And you add it in. You can see mine's right here. So after it's added to your library, what I do is open big picture mode. So that's probably extremely loud. Go to your library, and then you're gonna scroll through your games until you find IW4X. Don't open either of the MW2 installs. Find your IW4X. I'm gonna go back to my recent. Click open. It's gonna open IW4X. So when you get into the menu, uh, your buttons don't work to scroll through any of this. So like if you're creating a class, you can't scroll through with your controller. So what you're gonna wanna do is just go into a private match or any other server. You're gonna wanna start up the game. When you get in, you're gonna wanna select a class. And as you can see right now, this is with my mouse. Sensitivity is very high. You can hear me clicking my keyboard. So then you find a USB that's compatible. I use a PS4 controller. So I have a USB to micro USB connected to my PC directly. I plug it in my controller. You can hear it load up there. It's gonna turn a light on. You can see there, it's loading in. So then you double tap the home button and you can go to controller configuration. And it's gonna bring up all where you can um, change your buttons to whatever you want for more comfortable with. And then you're going to want to go to browse configurations, go to community, and right here you can see IW4X trick shot. So you can click on it, it's going to preview it. As you can see, these are a bunch of different things. I basically just loaded in and then I um, adjusted mine to what I felt was right and made certain buttons different things. And you just click apply configuration and then you can change the buttons in here to what it is and then once you're in you can see i'm using my controller spins are a little bit different you can hear me clicking on my controller and that's really it um if you have any questions just leave a comment um, i'll help as best as i can i'm not an expert on it but this is just what i found to work All right, so I forgot to say um, a big thing when you first start is you're not going to have reload binded correctly to be able to do zoom loads or wrist twists. So what you want to do is open up your console, which is the uh, squiggly key left of the one, and that's going to bring up your console. You're going to want to type in bind R space plus use reload. I'm almost positive, and that's going to make it so you can zoom load. See, I unbinded it there. Oh, never mind. I still had it binded. And without that, you're not going to be able to wrist twist or zoom load. And then also, the sensitivity you're going to want to do is just type into your console sensitivity. Um, I personally use 39. I think it's close. I'm not sure. I haven't found anywhere that's like perfect for 10 on console. But that's as close to what I could find, and it feels most comfortable for me. But those are two very important steps to being able to use a controller uh, well enough. Other than that, I believe that's everything. But once again, if you have any questions, you could just leave a comment down below and I'll help you out as best as I can. Thanks, guys.